everyone and welcome back to Among Ripples. So it is actually the last day of the Kickstarter or well the day before the last day of the Kickstarter depending on where you're at. Uh, but in any case it's very near the end and they actually haven't reached their funding goal yet. So if you have not backed them and you want to this is one of your last chances to get in. Uh, definitely make sure you do that uh, in the very near future because otherwise uh, you are going to run out of time to do that. Um, and they haven't reached their goals, so they do still need to do that. In that every every little bit here helps, or even if you can even if you can share and spread the word, that helps as well. Uh, but they introduced two new maps to the game here, and we're actually going to be checking out one of them. So we've already completed the original three here, which you can see are the autumn one, the spring one, and the uh, mountain winter one. Uh, they introduced this new one, uh, Zuznan. <laughs> Again with the names, I'm sorry. Uh, which says a river in autumn, the perfect habitat for the otter and Tom. John, which is a winter lake close to an old abandoned backyard, which is surrounded by trash. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to get the chance to check out both of these today, but uh, we're going to at least try to check out this first one here, and uh, maybe we'll come back and check out this other one, although I don't know if we're going to be able to do it before the Kickstarter ends. If you guys do want to see it, though, you can definitely let me know when we can always come back to it. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and see if we can set this one up, because I'm very excited, and uh, uh, we haven't really gotten too much chance to work with the otters. It hasn't... Um, like, they've, they've always been kind of an end goal, and so if this one is more based around the otters, it'll be interesting to see how that works, and I'm really excited. I hope we get to kind of get to play with the otters a little bit more here. So we're going to jump in, and uh, hopefully, I, I'm, ex I'm excited because they, I, just those previews alone look very, very cool. It looks like a beautiful map. And it looks like it does have the autumn colors again. Yes! Oh, hey, this river has had a tough time recovering after an algal bloom. It's the ideal place for otters to thrive. Let's help nature out. Okay. So, oh, and it actually has moving water. I think that's new. I don't know that we've ever seen moving water in the game before. So that's so cool. Okay, have otters breed until they reach generation two. That could be kind of an interesting goal. Now, I don't know how much we're going to actually be able to expand the lake. It looks like there's maybe a lot. Like, we go to terrain. If we look at this... Oh, you can! Okay, you can make it a little bit wider. Uh, I guess it's technically not a lake. It's more of a, a river here. <laughs> but um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, first things first, I think we should do some researching because I don't usually do that right away. So let's up passive income a little bit. And... Um, That'll just make it a little bit more sustainable because we did have a lot of financial issues in the last one. And then I guess the first thing to do, it looks like we've already got some algae. In fact, let's see what our lake info looks like here. Oh no, we don't have any algae. Okay, so we're going to have to place it again. I thought there might be some because they said there was an algal bloom. But the first thing to do, I think, then is going to be to place some of it. And we'll maybe put some down here as well. And then we'll put in a few days. And I think we'll kind of put them right here. Uh, we'll put in, maybe we'll place in three, and then we'll put their breeding ground somewhere around here as well. And we should be able to, if we click on this, so their environment is terrible, that's usually how it is uh, starting out. But uh, we'll put in some of these, uh, some of these things to make it a little bit better. And these guys should hopefully have food. They are pretty near some of the algae, so hopefully they'll be able to go and eat properly and get the food they need. But uh, we'll let it, uh, right, okay, we got our reed here. We'll let them uh, breed just a little bit, kind of get, get the population started, and then we'll check back in with them in just a little bit here and uh, see how they're doing. Okay, we're starting to see our hatching rates improving so that uh, they're happening almost constantly now, which is about what we want to see for the species that's effectively at the bottom of the food chain. Well, maybe not quite. I guess algae is technically lower than dace, but uh, they're, they're still pretty low down, and so we want to make sure we have plenty of them before we start introducing other creatures to the lake. So if you look at our lake info, or it's, I keep calling it a lake because that's what it says at the bottom, but it's uh, technically a river by the looks of it. Um, but we have up to 63 organisms in here. We haven't had too much that's actually died. And so I don't think we really need the crayfish just yet. But we do probably want to start to introduce maybe some perch. So let's place... Hmm. How do we want to go about this? I'm gonna... Well, actually, you know, I'm gonna do something here with the terrain. I'm going to... Oh, no, that's, I guess, the edge of it. Okay, I was gonna say we might need to clear that away. But no, we don't, we don't actually... Um, we might want to expand some of these sides at some points, though. Um, or does it let us? 
if we go to lower terrain no it only lets us uh, do it right there uh, that is the border you can see kind of the posts of the border here that uh, lets you know that you can't go past there but uh, we probably do want to uh, start adding other creatures so we've got 16 days we do have two dead organisms so let's go ahead and we will put in some crayfish here we've got a little extra money on hand and I think I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put our perch I maybe should have put the dace farther away, like farther towards one end. No, what, what we can do is we can put the perch right here and then place their breeding ground and they'll swim over there and they're already hunting. Oh my goodness. Okay. So uh, you can probably, probably drop the population a little bit. It did. So they managed to swim their way right over here. I sometimes worry that they will be able to find the food, but it looks like they're doing a pretty good job of that. So that's good. Um, we will want to have all of our fish population uh, pretty uh, solid here and make sure that that's stable before we start adding, especially the otters, but before we start adding uh, any of the um, non-fish creatures other than the crayfish. Um, so like the mallard and the otter, we really want to make sure fish is stable, but be especially because the otter eats everything except the mallards, we really want to make sure that, um, uh oh, wait, wait, there was, there, there was dead stuff though. There was dead stuff. Did they eat it all already? Apparently they did. All right, well, hopefully, um, uh, well, <laughs> I guess hopefully they'll they'll find something to eat pretty soon here. Okay, where is, maybe it's not telling us that they are hungry. Maybe it's just telling us that uh, there is nothing for them to eat. So I'm sure as this continues going on, they uh, will start to find more stuff because, you know, it's kind of it's the nature of the ecosystem is stuff does die eventually. <laughs> and uh, so I'm sure they'll have their food in the end. Um, especially with so many days, we've got like 19 of them. And so probably, yeah, okay. So you can see one of them has in fact died or something at least has died. And that should give the crayfish some food to go snack on. Is that right here? Yeah, that's uh, died of old age. So yeah, as uh, as time goes on, we'll start to see more of a turnaround where some of the creatures will die off. And that should provide enough food for the crayfish. Some of them will also get eaten too, though. And some of them are moving right down towards the perch breeding ground. And speaking of, let's go ahead and uh, we need to adjust the environment here. So let's go ahead and put in some of this grass and some of the redhead grass, I believe it is. So put some of that, and we do need some of this redhead grass as well. And there we go. I'm actually also gonna take this time to up our uh, uh, reproduction income here, and so that'll make it a little bit, uh, a little bit easier to keep up with uh, when our creatures are actually breeding. So that'll make us uh, earn a little bit more from that. And I think I'm gonna also uh, tweak some of the terrain here. We'll start kind of clearing out some of this area and making this a little bit bigger. I don't think we're close to running out of space yet, but we don't want to take that chance. Uh, let's just kind of carefully do that though, because we don't want our toxins to go up too much. Uh, we don't have any clams right now. We're only relying a little bit on the, um, like we're, we're relying a little bit, I think on this uh, redhead, the redhead grass down there, I believe will filter some toxins. So we look at that. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, does anything we have actually filter toxins? No, um, only the hornwort does. Okay, so then nothing's actually filtering them. We might want to add a couple clams here. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. And I'm going to give these guys just a, a bit of a chance, I think, to uh, continue to increase their numbers. We've got 33 of 68 organisms and it keeps going up. So I'm gonna kind of let these numbers stabilize a little bit more. We've got three perch. I probably want that to get up to at least four or five before we start adding the pike and uh, then we'll come back for that. Okay, so I went ahead and added some more perch as well. And so we've got that population up to six. We've got the dace population up to 34. And we are going to start to run out of the room here if we're not careful. So we might want to introduce our next predator now. I think... I actually am going to put the pike upstream, I think, because we have a lot of dace. Oh, and one of the perch has died off. Uh, but I kind of prefer... Well... No, what I think I might actually do is add mallards first because I do want to keep the day's population a little bit lower, or I guess, you know, it's probably not bad to have it be higher because they are the prey animals. And like, if you think of if the food chain, maybe isn't as much of a food chain as much as it can be a pyramid. If you don't have enough of the, um, the animals at the bottom of it, then it's not going to be able to support a very big population towards the top. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit more algae in just to, uh, 
kind of encourage these guys to continue to spread. I did go ahead and upgrade our income all the way as well. So maybe we'll go ahead and first of all do a little bit of terraforming. Now we have some uh, clams. Oh, we're running out of nutrients too. So we need to be kind of careful with that. Um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and we'll purchase some of this hornwort. So this increases oxygen, this increases uh, nutrients, and it also decreases toxins. So this is probably the best plant you can have pretty much because it impacts everything. And we really want to make sure there's going to be enough of that. So let's kind of place some more of this in. Uh, I might give it a little time to um, build up a little bit more money here and that'll hopefully allow some of our populations to kind of balance out a bit more too. It does look like the perch population is on the rise, so that's a very good thing. Okay, I've added a bunch more hornwort, but we've actually filled up the lake, so let's go ahead and continue to terraform. Hopefully uh, the fact that we now have more hornwort will keep some of the uh, toxins in check here. It does look like they're still on the decrease despite us expanding here, so that's always a good sign. That's what we want to see. Some of those rocks are making their way into the lake too. It looks like as you actually clear that out, it, it looks like they do drop down. No, some of them just disappear. But that one did, didn't it? Some of them I think can go down into the lake. Some of them it looks like won't. Um, but let's continue to expand this just a little bit. Oh, that one didn't. <laughs> now, I, I swear I saw one go down into the lake, and now it's going to bother me because now I'm going to wonder if I'm seeing things. Um, but we'll go ahead and if we look at our lake info. Now we can go up to 80 organisms, and I think this is perfect timing for us to actually add in our next one. So as soon as we have the income for it, we'll go ahead and add some pike. And there we go. So we actually just got a bunch of income. I'm going to add our pike right up here. We will place our breeding ground here and then let's see what they need. So they need grass and they actually have hornwort right next to them already because we placed some of that down. But let's go ahead and we'll add in a little bit more grass and that should be perfect for them. So they'll be able to breed as well. And right now we only have two of them, but they should be able to start to increase those numbers slowly on their own. We're up to eight perch and 37 days. So thus far, it seems like we're doing pretty darn well. And we do have a lot of income coming in as well. So I think I'm gonna actually try and put in some mallards as well. And we'll kind of place them in this area where we know we have a big dace population so that hopefully they can, um, they can uh, be pretty safe here. So they eat dace and they fear nothing that resides in the lake. So there's nothing that'll eat them, but hopefully they'll be able to actually fish for food. We have had a little trouble keeping them alive in the past, and I'm hoping this time will be a bit of a better experience with them. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It may not be, but our main goal is gonna be the otters too, and I just wanna make sure we've got everything pretty stable before we add them. I'm going to do a little terraforming here as well, continue to expand the lake and kind of clear out this uh, area and make it a little bit wider so that we have more room and our fish population can increase even further before the otters uh, move in. All right, we've expanded quite a bit, so now we can have up to 98 organisms here, and if we actually look at how many there are, there's 54 days, two mallards, two pike, two clams, two perch, or two perch, six perch, 13 crayfish, and five allerg or <laughs> allergies. Sorry, I'm suffering from those a bit today, and I think they're affecting my mind. Um, algae. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, it's, it's allergy season, and I'm allergic to feels like every plant under the sun, so uh, I'm a little bit out of it and a little bit tired in just that blue kind of way that you, you get when you're not feeling good from all the pollen in the air. It, it's springtime, you guys, and I, I like the outdoors too much to stay out of it, but then it goes straight to my nose. <laughs> so I'm a little under, little bit under the weather. I don't think I'm like actually sick. I know there's a lot of fears of that going around, um, especially with everything that's happening. Uh, but I don't think I'm properly sick. This happens to me pretty much every year. And uh, so I think, I think it's just nature <laughs> saying hello. Um, but we've got 74, 98, excuse me, uh, money. And so let's go ahead and actually purchase, I think, our first otters here. Our first of all, though, um, we've got two pike. I'm going to place a couple more just so that we, um, can make sure that population goes up and they're hatching on their own. So let's place our otters now. So I'm going to put them right in the middle here where they'll have lots of days to catch and we'll see if they can actually breed. I don't think, have we ever successfully had otters or mallards breed? I'm not sure we actually have. How are these guys doing? 
I, it's hard to tell if they're like properly eating because they seem to swim off to the side here and get stuck. And I, I think that could be a bug, which of course we are in a prototype version of the game. And so uh, it could just be something that's a bit of a, an issue with this version of the game that they're going to fix in future ones. But um, yeah, so that could be, that could be kind of what's going on here. Uh, it's not unexpected that they might have some bugs and glitches in a prototype, but uh, it, it is kind of uh, make, makes things a little difficult. So I, I've gotten to the point of not feeling too badly if we can't uh, can't manage to have the mallard population survive. I did just see the otters eat though, so that's good. Um, they are they are hunting and they are eating, but yeah, the mallards. I, either that or I just don't know what I'm doing with them, and uh, I'm just not aware of how to properly care for them in this game. Now, I don't know at what point the otters may uh, end up breeding or not. I have never seen it happen, although we've gotten the alerts about it and uh, the mallards in the other game. So this guy's about to die of starvation. So see, like, there's Dace right there, and he doesn't seem to really be too able of get to catch them. I don't know exactly how they're supposed to hunt, but... It doesn't seem like it's working quite right, whereas I think the otters um, are able to hunt. And so, I mean, I've seen them eating at least. <laughs> so it, it seems like we, we probably will have a better better chance having better luck with them than with anything else. Oh yeah, the, did they just did they just hunt? Wait, was that? Oh no, that was that was a new otter. Wait, wait a minute, wait. The otters had a baby. That was how it happened. Oh my goodness, a new one just appeared. Oh, that's so cool. I was confused for a second. I was like, where did the other one come from? But that 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 was we have our first baby otter. So okay, yes, the otters can breed. That's good to know. And uh, they will have babies. So we've got a generation 1 otter. We're well on our way to having generation 2. So that should be good. I'm glad we're going to be able to meet that goal. I think we just need to make sure. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of uh, income as well. So we should probably devote some of that to spending or to expanding lake here. So I'm going to continue to do that, and I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit here. I'm not over how cute the otters are. Look at them, though. Like, ah, <laughs> otters are great, you guys. They're just they're so fun. Well, I know my mom in particular loves otters, but they are just absolutely amazing. And just, just, just look at, look at those faces. They're, they're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. We can go ahead. Oops, I, if I click the actual otter, we can go ahead and actually follow like this and see him swimming. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys. I, and I, again, I say this every time. I just love the style of the game. Like, it's got, I don't even know how to explain it. It's got such an artsy style to it. Like, it looks like a painting come to life. And, and that's just so cool. <laughs> I, I love that uh, it's it's both kind of, it's it's simplistic, but at the same time, it's so, it just, it looks so good. Oh, we've got something going down over there. But yeah, I just love the way they have this painterly style to the game. I think it, it fits the picturesque, pi picturesque feel of things, <laughs> if I can speak. Um, it, it really fits the tone of the game. It has a very, like, it's got a really soothing feel to it, and it's kind of, it, it is a fairly chill game. Like, there's not, usually there's not too much, oh, and an otter's hunting! Oh my goodness! Oh, look at him go! Um, but there's not, uh, like, usually that much panic involved in it, whereas with some of the other games, they can get a little frantic, like in Wolf Quest or whatever, when you have to fight and stuff. They can get a little bit intense. They can get a little amped up, or, or Shelter 2, or any other other ones that uh, we play. So it's kind of nice to have a bit of a more chill game. Hello, there's four otters now. Where did you come from? Oh my goodness, we have two Gen 1 otters now, so it looks like they are continuing. Oh, we've got, wait, no, oh, I clicked the same one. Uh, it looks like they are continuing to reproduce, which is so good because if we have uh, further ones from the Gen 1 otters, then we'll start to see Gen 2 ones emerge as well. And so that's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, and this guy's hunting. It, they weren't kidding when they said this place is good for otters. Look at how much their, their population is still growing. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm going to go ahead. We've earned a lot of income in the time that I spent talking about the otters. I'm going to go ahead and continue to expand here. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I think we're pretty close to having our um, 
Oh, wait. Oh, that was a crayfish. I was like, wait a minute. How did that happen? But no, I'm, I was going to say, I think we're pretty close to having our, um, our Gen 2 otter start being born. Uh, the last member of Gen 0 here is about to pass away. I think you can see his age is pretty much at maximum, so we are about to lose him, but uh, then we do have at least, so there's one member of Gen 0, so we have four members of Gen 1, and uh, so I'm pretty sure our otter line here is well established, even if we are going to be losing its last founding member. And look at it, it's just such a pretty sunset tone here. I, I just, I love the colors. I love the colors, I love the look of the game. It's just really darn pretty, <laughs> and I really, really, really like it. Um, I, I love the style of the game, and I love how it's both simple and yet beautiful, and it really does look like a painting, uh, and I just think that's very, very cool to see. Alright, we've got Gen 1 otters. So I think, how many do we have? We are down to four, so that last otter must have passed away. Um, but I think... Uh, now any that'll be born will be Gen 2 because all the ones that we have are Gen 1 and I, I, it seems like that's kind of how it works is that um, whenever, like whatever, whatever the lowest generation is, the any creatures that are born will be one generation up from that. And so now if our lowest generation is Gen 1, then any new otters that are born are going to be Gen 2 and that's what our goal is here so we are pretty close to it. Um, I'm going to continue it to kind of fill out this lake. We'll kind of fill it with some more plants and things because I don't think we're too in want of new space now. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of make things prettier here <laughs> and add some new plants to kind of take care of the ecosystem uh, while we wait for the next otters to be born. Hey, we made it. Let's see if we can find the new otter. So we have three, I think three members of Gen 1 left and now there we are. We have the new otter. Oh my goodness, you guys. So this was a fun one because it was cool to really be able to get focus on the otters for once. Um, normally, we they're kind of like the end game. You see them for a little bit. But it was cool to actually get to kind of give their population the chance to grow. And it really is a good environment for them. Like, they seem to really thrive here and uh, to really be able to do well. So that was so cool to get to see. Let's go ahead and claim that. And uh, we've completed the objective here. So I think we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, though. This was very fun to get to see. Uh, don't forget to go check out the Kickstarter if you have not done so already. This is going to be your last chance, pretty much. Uh, it ends, uh, if you're in America, it ends very early on Friday morning. Uh, if you're elsewhere in the world, I'm not sure exactly what time it'll be, but it doesn't have too much long left. So uh, if you do want to uh, check that out and support the game, they have not reached their goal yet, at least at the time of making this video. So definitely check that out and uh, support it if you can, because uh, <laughs> they they can they can use all the help they can get in these last few hours. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.